Hey guys, so a uh, little heads up. We have been playing this game a little beforehand, so we're kind of we kind of got uh, pretty good at the game. Uh, unfortunately, Robert's gonna have to start from a new game. Yep, gotta lose all my progress thanks to you. Yeah, but welcome to Sifu. I I love this game. It's hard. That's the but it's a it's a really unique game. It it just hits all the marks, unlike Dying Light. This game. You comes. would think they get their shit. Oh, multiple safe slots. Ah, I don't gotta lose my progress. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. This game comes extra hard now. <laughs> I'll stop saying that. I'm sorry. What's that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I Wait, what always... was. Can you find the message where, like, I described the game? Oh, you, you said, uh. Wait, the dump truck thing or the the kids? The kids. Oh yeah, I'll I'll find it. <laughs> okay, cool. So this game has. So this game is made by the same people who did uh, Absolver. Yep. What's going on? But there's more single player focus oriented. And uh, it's better. <laughs> Yeah, it, it plays really, really well. It's mechanics, really, it's, there's a difficulty level. Like, not a difficulty level, but there's, it's difficult until you finally get your hands on it. And, like, the game's meant to be played repeatedly over and over from different areas. So, yeah. it makes some time, it may take some time to get used to, but once you get into it, you definitely feel like the Kung Fu Master. Also, I like the fact that they did that. Like, the stereotypical Kung Fu Master guy. Yeah. I was reading, actually, I was reading that somebody couldn't get past the club level and they kept ending it at, uh, I thought you said they um, a fight. at, at, at the age of 70. Oh. <laughs> I am so sorry I threw that staff at you. My bad. <laughs> Alright, great. Score pass all the dumb shit we were sending each other. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there eventually. You sent me a thing that said Justin the Hedgehog, and I was like, I hate you. <laughs> I gave you a picture of you and Gura, and you spit in my face. Well, because there's the <laughs> thing where, like, you Who the hell is that? you Google your name, yeah. like, you look up your name, and then you just type in the Hedgehog afterwards, see what it pops up. I was curious what yours would be. Did you find you? Yeah, the first one that shows up for me is, like, a super edgy emo Hedgehog. Oh. I was like, oh, that's yeah. fitting. So, first is the gif of uh, Keanu Reeves' I Know Kung Fu. <laughs> it fits. Uh, how does it play? It's really smooth. It's like if John Wick had a baby with Bruce Lee, and then if Jackie Chan and Don Yen had a baby, and those two babies grew up, met, and fucked, they would birth this game. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was basically the, uh, the Pineapple Express line. <laughs> well, he's talking about the weed. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he? Oh. oh! He's mute. He wasn't just being an asshole. Way to right. go, Robert. <laughs> the first time I went through that prologue, I was like, the dude's an asshole. Stop. He's clearly on vacation. Yeah. Of course. You've gotten slow, Sifu. You know why I'm here, don't you? Just step aside. You were a mistake. Your mom was a mistake. Bitch. <laughs> uh, I should never have taught you. Now you know too much. By returning here tonight, you've given me a second chance. This time, I will do what I must. I love this Could hit him so with much. She death grip. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> also, I could step outside 
go about 10 feet away and find someone who looks like the mute guy. Yeah, he looks more Hispanic Chicano than he does. <laughs> yeah, and also the seafood. Like, he kind of looks like you'll find him here in Texas. Yeah. Also, if it wasn't obvious, seafood just meets master. Yeah. Most kung fu martial arts. For teacher. Yeah. For martial arts. It's, similar, it, it's basically the equivalent of a uh, sensei. Yeah. But Chinese. I love this so much. You have no idea how much this game is. It, 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 there's difficulty. Is the difficulty increases, and me and Robert are just one up in each other. Yeah. We'll explain when we get to the mechanics of the game. Because some of the mechanics we were really uh, kind of figure it out on our own. Yeah, it took a while to get we'll, a grasp on them. When we get to that point, we'll we'll kind of give you guys a little insight how it works. There we go. Oh, God damn it! Let me do my combo. No! Wait, do I have the... I oh, have the move that you hate. I do! The, uh, the cloth strike? Yeah. <laughs> that you hate for whatever reason? Come on! Stop trying to hit me and... Ow! Ow! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Fisted up so hard he died. So, I didn't know this part was in this in the game, mm -hmm. uh, which took me by surprise. But I'm actually really glad they added it. Yeah. Show yourself. Now, most of the time in the game, they kind of had the male character. For this one, we're going as a girl, because Robert loves playing as female protagonists. Yeah, that's a thing I do. Which I don't mind. And also, like... It might, I play through all men. I'm in the male, so... I feel like a majority of people are going to pick male anyway, so... <laughs> Face me in Mortal Kombat. Wrong game! <laughs> Fight me in regular combat. Your soul is mine. Then shut up, we're gonna get sued. <laughs> Alright, game over. <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine the people who like speedrun games, how good they're gonna get at this? I can't wait. <laughs> like, there was a guy, I don't know the validity of this, but there's a guy who did a speedrun of Sekiro while blindfolded. Father. So, like, if he can do that, I'm pretty sure eventually he'll be able to, like, play this game blindfolded. I'm interested in what, uh, what Charlie might think of the game. Right, he hasn't done a video on it yet. As far as I know. Bet you he's gonna say this game comes. <laughs> Goes nuts to butts is what he's gonna say. The buttness. I also like how they do this. Kind of like an image training kind of thing. Yeah. But then he actually gets to them and they just kind of just like with your ass. <laughs> yeah, he gets them and you're like, oh, I fought you before the tutorial. <laughs> oh, you're different. The fighter. Ow. What if this is kind of giving you a little secret on how to beat them later on in the game? Oh, yeah, like giving you little tips and tricks. Yeah. Because these are kind of the techniques that we were using use, when we were yeah. fighting. Like it tells you what... Like, That's what's cool use. about this game too. Like, I cannot sing the praise of this enough, but... some some You can't fight everybody the same. Everyone has their own technique you're supposed to use on them. Well shit, I'll fight them the same. 
Actually, okay, so her when you get to her stage, I figured a way to beat her. But fairly easily, it just takes time. Okay. And I'll show you when I get there. I think it's her. <laughs> that's, a, that's my technique. <laughs> to meet everyone. God, I love this. I know. I'm about to stand up and be a few inches taller. <laughs> it's almost just tossed to a regular <laughs> body. You can ask Robert, I fucking love old school cliche kung fu movies. Yep. Jet Li's Fist, Fist of Legend. Uh, Jet Li's Fearless. Uh, what, what's it called? Uh, kung God. No, it's it's the uh, oh, Unchained? Or no, what is it Unchained? Un the one where Jet Li has a collar on his. Unleashed? Unleash, there we go. I'll Which doesn't Baki. make sense because it's not a leash, it's a collar. Um Unleash, there we go. I get what they're that about, one though. all all of the Bruce Lee movies. I just love old kung fu style movies. I just Yep Man. Yep Man yeah. All the Yip Man movies I've seen. Donnie Yen's parts in that one Star Wars movie where he should have been a Jedi, but he wasn't. So, basically, this is the board where you kind of get, like, info on this all the other list. people. Yeah, basically, yeah, this is your hit <laughs> list. That's where you go. Your tree right here is where you can access the uh, your... other moves yeah, in here. Skill list. Okay, go back to it real quick. Okay. Just so we can get a good little quick tidbit before we get into the game. That's everyone else. So, basically, these little coins is what keeps you alive. Up in the left-hand corner, you can see this is your age. And there's a little skull counter. Now we'll get into that a little bit more. Uh, the, we've I've been playing this for a bit, so this first area won't be as bad because Robert's probably just it last ass through it. Shouldn't be as bad, I hope. We'll see. So, something you should keep in mind: in this game, when you purchase skills and you die, and you give up and start from the beginning, you won't keep those skills. However, if you keep purchasing them, and you keep getting to the max like if you can see down below say right there five times five times yeah so you'll have to like say for instance you restart this level and you have purchased that skill three times it saves the amount of times you purchase it but if you don't have it permanently unlocked you have to buy it again and then finish off whatever it is you have left yeah and permanently keep that skill and then it will be permanently unlocked you won't have to worry about it anymore this game is meant to be played uh, over and over until you can finally, you know, get because you know, it's all skills, you know, dying and rebirth stuff, and then and you're, you go up in age. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know if Robert's gonna die or not because he, he knows his level we'll see. at the back of his hand. I can't use so, the shortcuts, so I gotta fight the. Yes. The so things. you can unlock shortcuts that actually will lead you straight to the boss and skip a whole bunch of enemies. That's basically meant for when you're done kind of moving around and stuff. You get a feel for the game. Mm -hmm. um, when you die the first time around, your first death, you go up one year. If you manage you to kind of go count. through and... Yeah, you get one death count. If you can go through and knock people out, that death count will go down. However, if you keep dying over and over again, that death count will go up. So if it goes up to two and you die, you're going to age two years. If... Who, your death counter is at five and you die again it's gonna go up five years and then you'll get older as you progress they through this level the warehouse. and every decade you lose a, a medallion or like a a get charm lost. yeah <laughs> and eventually it looks like once you get to your stuff. 70s that's when uh it's game over it's yeah. game over again however if you just restart from the beginning you just squat over and over again you if you have all your permanent skills it won't that much of an issue i will say this whatever age you enter the new area that's the age you're gonna start with when you um start that level over again so say for instance you go you do what we did me and robert managed to beat 
this level and the next level. Um, and we end on dying. the yeah without dying. So this this level will always be age twenty. This is where you always start. Yeah. If you go through this level without dying, you'll go into the next area and it will save it as age twenty because that's how old you were when you entered that level. However, if you died a couple times on the next level and you go into the other level at the age of thirty five. That's how old you're gonna be when you start that level again, unless you go back to this area, go through all of it again, and get a better age rating so you're not constantly dying. Because remember, you can't die too many times or else it's game over. And you don't want to start the last level at age 65, which means that you can only die a few more times before it's just yeah, depending on what you're basically an endless loop until you get, you know, good at the game. I always seen I love always it. seen so apparently this is referencing a, a movie called old boy which i haven't seen but i assume it's like an old kung fu movie and i'm curious i want to check it out we should look up the scene old boy hallway scene yeah uh, old boy's one word by the way but this reminds me of like the daredevil hallway scene. yeah just just Terry, when I first went through this, oh my god. And this game is kind of like, kind of Dark Souls-esque, where it's like, even normal people can like, kick the shit out of you. It doesn't have yeah. to be special people. I mean, there We've are like, patterns. mini bosses that you yeah. do run across. I know which one you like, though. Yeah. Kia! And hallway scene done. God, it's so satisfying to go through. My only issue with that is like when it resets the camera. Yeah. It, it's it's kind of disorienting. Yeah, but other than that, I mean, it's good. Now, I fully suggest keep doing this area, unlocking all the cheaper moves first. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna have a bad time. Not yeah, a bad you're gonna time, have a, you're a hard, not a hard time. You you do have to kind of think. Yeah. Now, no matter what Robert says, I will never be good at Dark Souls games. You can probably beat Dark Souls three and Sekiro with enough time. I'm not good at it. I'm only good at this game. All right, but you are gonna try out. I will try out. Okay, because apparently it's easier than the others. Yeah, and hopefully that hopefully some of the mechanics will get me maybe sort of kind of used to see this. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I mean, you did Broker try Bloodborne, so. I did make it through quarter of Bloodborne. Yeah. Put that down. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's down. You're welcome. Oh, God. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Super Saiyan. Oh no. Yeah, some of these some of these enemies will like parry your attacks and when they parry your uh Damn, your takedown, you should be on guard because yeah, they will they, get, go they get more aggressive. This is not a good representation, but you'll see later on that I'm gonna have trouble with these guys. Yeah, Robert uh we again we were practicing so <laughs> I, we had to play it right away. We pre ordered it. We pre ordered uh, the it. Download the download was an issue. Yeah. It was an issue. Uh, but, you know, uh, it, it was worth the wait. Okay, so these Jade Dragons well, it will basically allow you to act, because you can't really go to your menu screen and unlock skills. You can only get them, if you die, you can spend your XP points on skills. And some skills can only be unlocked once you reach a certain age. However, through here, you can do it through the Jade Statue. The Jade Statue upgrades, say for instance you get three of them and you have three of those special things unlocked, those will carry over to the next one. You won't have to redo them again. These carry over. However, if you do start from this one uh, for a new run, uh, the whatever you have here, it will reset it and then it will be you different. So say, if, yeah. Yeah, so say for instance you have uh, uh, the first one uh, and the second one, you have this, the second one unlocked. And for XP, you added another health bar. That will carry over to the rest of whatever it is you're doing, you add on to. But if you come back here, it resets it. And you'll have to choose your different upgrades, however, accordingly. You can do the same. You can change it up. But the only thing that will stay the same overall is if you unlock 
permanent skills, those will always be there. Yeah. That's what was most confusing, the the statues, for me at least. Yeah. Like it took me a while to figure out how they work. I am so sorry. You are probably dead. The rest of you just get knocked out. That woman is definitely dead. <laughs> I am so Insane. sorry. Yeah. Another jump here. Damn. I can make it. I hate this part. I mean, I kind of like it. I kind of hate it. Shame. I'll have to throw you back through. Okay. All right, bring it on. Tons of fun. Yeah. <laughs> leg sweep. Oh, regular leg sweeps. I'll work on them. Whoops. <laughs> I'm in danger. You'll also unlock techniques like based on like how to steady yourself. So when you get knocked back like that, there's a there's a technique where you hold a button and you can kind of just like stop yourself. Yeah, you like you know you have a bunch of stuff like so. Also, when you go through this level, whatever clues, keys, and stuff you pick up, they stay with you. And there's also some keys you can only get on different levels. Yeah. So there's gonna be a door that's locked later on, and we still haven't found the key for it. So we we'll see when we get it later on. Yeah. Don't want to be late for the club. Who in the? F Careful. Here's the club. <laughs> oh, right also, you're gonna be thinking, oh, why are we fighting with this? Trust me, you're gonna want to use a weapon. Yeah, weapons are here. like easy mode. They, just make they the will break them. Yeah, and it helps you thin out, thin them out. You can even do different strategies. Like sometimes, how I do is like. I get them in one narrow, little narrow way and I just start knocking them out like that. Yeah. However, I've gotten fairly decent at the game where I can I can be in an open situation like this and handle them no problem. Yeah. Also, if you're hearing weird sounds, it's, it's because the controller has oh, sound yeah. coming out of it. No fucking way. So you can hear it through Robert. Which so. is weird because like, okay, so options sound there's no way to change it like it still comes out the controller either way yeah so sorry about that take that hmm. time to play the song of my people and just the big butts <laughs> how the fuck you get in here these guys annoy me that door <laughs> Yeah, I just walked in. Did you not see me? I was like, are these guys brothers? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure they're twins. But also they're Asian, and I don't want to make any stereotypes. And it is like, oh, the twin brother, the skull brothers is what I think they're called. There's... <laughs> You're like... Yeah. These tattoo twins <laughs> seem to be in charge of the drug security. Drug lab security. Like, okay, cool. I don't want to make assumptions. You know they, you know what they say about assuming. Yes. They make an ass out of Uma Thurman. Oh. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah. What's cool about it is like the, the the older you get, your outfit starts to change. Yeah. However, your voice stays the same, so it's, it gets it's a kinda... little deeper. Like slightly. <laughs> At least for the female. I don't know how it's for the male. It gets a little rougher. Okay. But yeah, it's like still the same voice. Uh, voice actors doing the voice. They're just like, I'm going to do the voice a little more raspy. Because I'm old. Have a nice fall. Little See bitch. you next Tuesday. There's not on there. Just uh, actually it. see you next Tuesday. If you take it, it uh, you can take it as a cunt. Oh, you're right. See you next Tuesday. I didn't realize that when I said it. Oh, I thought that's what you're going for. No, not at all. Also, you get real, you'll regain health uh, by knocking people out. With yeah. The... How? There's no health pickups though, so you better be careful. I love the dialogue in this game, like when you just start beating ass. 
They're, they're on fire. Holy shit. Like you're not supposed to be cheering for me. <laughs> also, there's some people that, again, they're not combatants, so be careful. Yeah. I'll, I'll show that off the next stage. I thought I had the skill where uh, the environmental mastery, which is uh, the other skill you should probably get. Uh, it's gonna be one of the next skills I get. Got some drugs. Got some purple cocaine. I wonder what it does. Like I wonder yeah, if it's just even... like a regular drug or if it's just like a enhancing. I don't think it's just any way that throw up to no good. I don't care about dialogue. What do you do? Yeah, so those three dots pop up. There's dialogue choices. Yeah, but, you can be like however cool you want to sound. Yeah, but they don't really matter. Like you still end up fighting people. Yeah. <laughs> there are a few dialogue options where you can fight people who don't really <laughs> don't really have to fight. Yeah. And at times like fight me. And they're just they're like standing guard or like they're in charge of like a certain door, but they're oh, not they're, really they're, combatant. Yeah, they're like doing something. And they're like oh, okay. I think you have enough for the to unlock environmental environmental mastery for like one time. Yeah, but I kind of want to unlock permanent skills first, and okay. I really like this one. Yeah. There you go. I permanent unlocks it, Robert. So Robert will no longer have to worry about that upgrade. He now has it permanently unlocked. So if he cuts back to this level, it's automatically unlocked for him, and now he doesn't have to worry about it. There's a thing. There it is. Keycard 206. Pass key for room at the sanctuary. The sanctuary I figured out is one of the later locations. I thought it was the dojo that you started in, but it's not. Oh, crap. I, I completely forgot about that key card. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't come into play until later on. <laughs> it's all sad. <laughs> the weed dealer. With his magical, mystical kung fu weed. I'd like to buy some of your purple marijuana. Ow! This guy's a pain in the ass when you fight him for the first time. Yeah. If you don't know what you're doing. So, each boss has two phases. One normal fight you have with them, and, and you'll see the next one. So for this one, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is hold uh, L1 or... Yeah, it's L1. Or, what, no, what is it for Xbox? Uh, left bumper. Left bumper? Yep. Yeah, LB, uh, depending on how you control. And you will just have to dodge them. You can easily dodge them like that, and then counter attack. See, it's, it's pretty easy. And if you get further away from him, he'll try to close the distance by jumping, sliding, or jumping over objects to kind of like fuck with you. Yeah. But it's really easy. And like kind of similar to the secular system, you can break their stance and that can lead to a quick uh, Take a take down. way to quick takedown. So, oh, that's God cool. damn it. There we go. Phase one done. Now he's gonna get a little harder. And a little bit more mystical. Don't know why he threw off his jacket. That doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. I guess. Maybe it feels more comfortable. Maybe. I guess because it, it's flowy. So maybe it gets in the way. You know who he looks like? Uh, no. He looks like uh, Samurai Jack in like the later seasons. Oh! Adult Swim Samurai Jack? Yeah. I mean, I know this guy's Chinese, probably. Ooh, and <laughs> Jack is Japanese. But yeah, no, I get what you're saying, though. He has that very rugged, similar like... design. So this is the guy we were saying like, oh, he's not an asshole, he's just mute. <laughs> yeah. Robert's like, this asshole didn't, didn't even talk to me. I was very hurt. I was like, what the hell? I'm your friend and your leader, you're not saying anything to me. 
Oh god. Not enough. Not enough. Crap. Run! Come out! So, yeah, you can pick these up and uh, you can fight them. However, I'm not a bitch and I don't use Shut those, up. so I can beat him without having to use I can weapons. Beat him without weapons too, I just don't want to. Yeah, okay. You fight smarter, not harder. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ow, fuck, stop killing me, but that that's annoying. Stop, that hurts. Shit. What, why not? You'll see in a second. If I can get it to do the thing. Ah, oh, goddammit, no, I didn't do it. Oh, give me a second, guys. You right there? Sorry, someone was knocking on my door. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, how do you want to do this? Because we could... We could go... Go to the next level. I'll show the next level. Or, or if you want, we can show the alternate route that you can take to get to. Oh, you know the what? Bottom. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh... Yeah. Um. Do you mind if we pause real quick, though? Sure. Give us one second, guys. One. Se All right. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So now we're gonna show you the uh, the alternate way to go through uh, the squats. Yeah. And you blink, you could basically basically use this first spot as like farm a farming XP. round. Yeah. Which is kind of what we did when we first uh, started. Hmm. Time to fight me, Robert. I don't want to. I don't like hurting my friends with my immense power. What immense power? You don't know about it because I've never shown it off. <laughs> right, the chair. It keeps you from. It keeps me from any physical harm. <laughs> it's more defensive mechanism than, you know, for attack. <laughs> but it works. <laughs> Twenty percent of the time, it works. Eighty percent of the time. They've blocked the entrance <laughs> to our house. Need to find another way inside. Ready for round two, assholes? Oh, Come back yeah, with a vengeance. Just Oh, I had to take a. I didn't hell real deep for some reason. Oh, I know what you mean. Like your body's just like I need air. Yeah, just like help. You're <laughs> very overweight. Oh, also maybe this time I could show off what I was trying to do with the uh, botanist the first time. I had no idea what you were trying to do. I know you don't. Hopefully, if I if uh if I can parry him enough, then it should work. Hey, I'll just... <laughs> hey, I, oh shit! Also, really bad at parries in this game, so I, that's why I tend to dodge. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not terrible at him. Just, just get unlucky. I'm really good at parries. <laughs> See what I mean? Parry. Sorry, I act quiet because uh, a little nervous. As you can see, it's kind of really easy to get overwhelmed. Yeah. Especially when the enemies have weapons. Yeah. So as you can see, our uh, upgrades are, aren't there anymore. Yeah, the reset. So, uh, it's only in this level. If you repeat, I I highly, I my, me personally suggest that. So as you saw, the next level is called the club. Uh, I would advise trying to get to this without dying. You look in the so you can kind of farm the club area mm -hmm. as well. It's, uh, it's a little harder. I've yes. seen people kind of struggle with the club at, when they get to it. Mm -hmm. So I suggest kind of like uh, try to get to this without dying. It, as you can see, it's very doable. It, try to get to BH20 when you get to the club. Yeah, 20 20, 21 at least. Yeah, 20, 21, 22 max until you get perfect. Remember, you can always come to this level and reset your age. Mm -hmm. So and just know just, that it does get difficult. Take the time to actually learn like the enemies in the club and their patterns because they do get really tough yeah what the hell 
What? I was that, uh, targeting bullshit. the wrong guy. Or I couldn't get the guy I was targeting. Yeah. His hands are ready to for everyone. So as you can see, it's not like oh Bruce Lee attack you one on one. No, they're they're doing their best to try to jump you. Yeah. I like to think it's more on par with Tony Ja. Right. It's like he's not like super perfect kung fu master. Like it shows where a bunch of people come in, beat the crap out of him, but he escapes from it and just starts kicking the shit out of him ten times harder. It makes you nervous when you fight like that. <laughs> Yep, oh. there she is. Yep. Uh, so far what we've seen, there's at least one of those. Yeah, there's at least one every level. powered up enemy. Or two, depending if you find the special uh, mini bosses hidden in different rooms when you go into your second time. Mm -hmm. Like those two twins who show up in that room. Oh, yeah, the one I the told club. you about. But I didn't warn yeah, you the was in that there. fucking does the Luke King bicycle kick. Yep. It is. It's it's kind of understandable that you use the uh, bonk stick. Yeah. And also, when you come across like an enemy like this, you probably want to clear the rest of the room first before. It... Yeah, unless you're super confident in your ability that it take them out no problem. Yeah. Then go ahead. But you know, I mean, again, remember this game is meant to, like you do your own style. He's expecting me. I don't think so. All right. Let's oh, yeah. go. Well, that's why he doesn't pay you to think. Now shut up and fight. Load him to a false sense of security, then I bonked him with the stick. That's how uh, you're going to see that a lot in the next level. <laughs> Robert. Yes. Yeah, so what are the next trials? <laughs> God. Uh, I know the... Uh, like, I'm not like... Oh, oh, Mr. Kung Fu Master. I actually do know some basics of uh, Wing Chun. Mm -hmm. And nunchucks. Uh, nunchucks from the Hispanic guy. <laughs> <laughs> of all people. That random dude who taught me how to use nunchucks. And basics in Wing Chun. Mm -hmm. And basics in uh, like uh, special like takedowns and holds and of uh, like wrestling. Oh, okay. Cool. Hmm. Other than that, then uh, most of it is just uh, Hispanic dirty fighting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like take someone out like in the nuts. <laughs> Remember, in a street fight, they ain't nobody gonna care. Like, it, it, there are no rules. Go for the nut. There are no rules. Go for the nuts. Which uh, Wing Chun kind of utilizes like uh, I I kind of gouging like nut like hitting oh, okay. and stuff. It's like some of the moves are meant to like kind of like. Impair them. Mm -hmm. God, I love that combo. I know, me too. I love the elbow. The elbow is just like <laughs> you be fighting somebody, and then someone's be like, "Yeah, kick his." It's just, <laughs> and you can lay him out with the elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I am so sorry. But also, you're trying to kill me, so I'm not as sorry. I mean, that he has killed you. Fair enough. You did kill me. All right, don't need to see that again. All right, here's where the thing I want to do gets kind of tough. What is it you're trying to do? Just At least kind of. No, don't see. I'm not gonna explain. I'm gonna show you. Just. I just gotta parry him a lot. Kinda like slowly build up his posture. Or structure, that's what they call it in this game. Ow! <laughs> Sweep attacks are cheap! So do Damn, that sucks! Ow. My, my structure. Okay, cool. Oh, come on. 
He always gets me that. I'm probably gonna die. But it's okay, it's worth it. Okay. You'll see after I die. It's worth it though. Okay. Uh, what do I want? Oh, environmental. That thing goes up the. There, yeah, it'll go up and. To two? We'll get back up. Or if I die now, again, then he goes up to two. Yeah, so right now Robert's 21. If he dies again, he'll go up to 23. Yeah. What? I've never seen this part. Revenge is not the answer. Psych! Just snap his neck. Yeah, so you can spare yeah. them. That is completely... I I didn't know you can do that. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, like, I just took the concept of uh, the player coming back over and over and ran with it the opposite way. I was like, what happens if you don't take them out? And, uh, yeah. Maybe there's... Are you trying to do that for everyone? Uh, everyone that I can. Oh, God damn it! not chasing strikes. I do like that move, though. I meant to get environmental mastery. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, we're going to have to call it here, yeah, though. Yeah, the club will be next. Yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope everyone's having a good day, staying safe and healthy. And we'll see you guys next mission. Bye. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe.